While in Tanzania, my friend Gumbo showed me these strange videos of a small branch of the Zigawa tribe, a group that dances with snakes, not just any snakes, poisonous ones. He said he had a phone number. I never locked in a trip so fast in my life. And when we get there, man, just wait until you see this. I get here. Let's quickly set the stage. This is the quiet town of Miono, near the coast in Tanzania. We show up early and the tribe is already there. They are called the Wanunguli and they're a clan of the Zigawa tribe. They've devoted themselves to the art of traditional snake medicine and handling. Showing up today, I honestly had no idea what to expect. But we meet Skoza, who sets our expectations for the day. Is it poison? It's okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's poison or yes, it's okay? It's Two okay. very different it's answers. Okay. It's okay. That's a black mamba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a black yeah, mamba. That's a black mamba. That's a f***ing black mamba. I'm just a fish out. Hmm. Are you serious? It is? Yeah, they are black mamba. The poisonous snake. In, yeah. it's, it's the most poisonous snake most in Africa. Poisonous. In the world. Yes, in the world, I would say. Yeah. So green mamba and black mamba. Look, I've got goosebumps. See <laughs> Literally, I've got yeah, goosebumps. Serious. You yeah, see that? I'm see not that. joking. Yeah, I, can, I can tell. That thing's about as safe as a, a toddler with an AK-47. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's a very poisonous snake. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> very serious, as you can see there. Just handle it like that way. Oh. Oh. The black mamba. Mamba out. Hollywood loves this snake. The black mamba has a reputation of being one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. And the main reason of this is the potent neurotoxin in its bite. The venom affects your nervous system, stopping your heart, your lungs, and your brain function. You'll black out in under an hour, and you'll be dead in just three. It's one of the most deadly animals on the entire planet. This gumbo, this seems like suicidal though, like because, they, oh, they must not have, they're de are they defanged? Yeah. Oh, they're defanged. Yep. Oh, that's a massive relief. <laughs> I was like, they're just, they're just letting it move around. But you could, the, the crazy thing is, you can see like some of the like the pythons are much more relaxed. Right. That is not a relaxed snake. That is a highly alert, ready to attack snake. Right. You can. It, I came. I got. I saw it. It saw me. It looked at me, and it started coming at me a little bit. Okay. The reasons say that uh, they can. They can stand up to one meter. They can stand up one yeah. meter. So he's trying to show us how they can maneuver. Defanged or not, being around this animal is like someone pointing a gun at your face and telling you there's no bullets. It's hard to relax. I notice you're standing a bit farther away than normal. Yeah. <laughs> Social distance. Social distancing is what it is. <laughs> Mnimbo is the tribe's leader and master snake handler, and he talks a little bit more about it. He inherited this kind of uh, traditional um, healing from his father. And why he's doing this? Because um, many of the snakes here in Africa or in, in the world has got uh, poison. So he's actually collecting this kind of uh, species and trying to teach people or to train people on how they can best handle various situations on various snake, <laughs> including uh, <laughs> including this poisonous black mamba and uh, boom slang. If you work harder and actually you know or you get to understand of the snake, snake they usually become friends. That's why. Mm -hmm. So they ju he just want people to understand that. You can learn and then you can live with snake peacefully. So it's safe to say, it's safe to say that the, the main thing they're trying to do is to educate people that snakes aren't as dangerous. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Some snakes are dangerous, yeah. but we don't have to be scared of snakes. Yeah. 
as we think. Right, that, that's correct, Mike. Yeah. Okay, that sounds cool. But it doesn't explain the dancing. So Manimbo continues. Even snake, they do require to debug, I mean, to, to remove their, their skulls yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think it's yearly or it depends on the type of the snake. So they do believe playing with them and I mean, they, by the time when they are removing their skulls, it's also helping them to, to bond with snakes. Oh. Yeah, so that's why they also play with them. <laughs> yeah. Even you, he said, he, 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 he welcomed you to become a Nunguli. I could become an Ulunguli? Nunguli, yes. Nunguli? <laughs> yeah. I could become, so anybody can become a traditional snake handler? Yeah, yeah. Anyone. Oh, anyone. Can become a Nunguli. Well, I have, I have, we have like an hour. It yeah. probably takes a bit longer than that. <laughs> Today's sequence of events. Number one, get scared shitless. Done, check. Number two, watch a traditional Zigawa tribe dance. And then we're gonna see what the Wanoguli have tweaked it with. Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's poisonous snakes. is called Cerro. I didn't get a briefing on the story being told here, but maybe it's a fertility dance. Either way, it's fantastic. Some of the locals just realized that there's snakes here. Uh, and we met the, the Zigwa, this branch of the Zigwa tribe, halfway in between our village where we're staying and their village. So the locals didn't know that there was more than just dancers here today. And when they saw these giant three meter long African rock pythons, everyone screamed and ran away and appearing nervously. But that's exactly why this tribe does what they do. Around the world, it doesn't matter if it's Africa or the Philippines or South America or even Canada, my hometown. Snakes, things with scales are considered dangerous. And I've seen people cut heads off snakes, cut, st stomp out lizards that weren't even poisonous. Just people think scales equals danger equals must die. And all reptiles around the world are having a massive problem of just being killed for simply being themselves, even if they're not dangerous. So what this tribe does, they travel around, they educate people about snakes, they show them the differences, they give them an environment where it's not dangerous. It's not like, you know, the, the high terror tension moment you see in like a nature documentary. They introduce them to snakes, show them they're not all dangerous, teach them the ones to watch out for, and they also, if there's a pest problem, if a snake does enter a village, they come take it away and relocate it. It's a beautiful thing. It's really a really cool thing. Yeah, actually the headband, the red headbands, they're the people who, who are qualified to become Nunguli. This, this guy, we're having a casual conversation. Yeah. This guy's got a handful. <laughs> Let's move back a little bit. Let's move back. He's got a, a handful of black mambas. And boom slang. Boom. The, the most... And the boom slang actually. Deadly snake. Two black mambas um, and a boom slang in his yeah. hands. And a, maybe a green mamba too. Oh, and... Where's that one? The xylophone kicks up, the chanting continues, and the Wanonguli start to dance with their snakes. Oh, 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 oh. 
I think it's probably safe to say the snakes aren't particularly thrilled to be shaken around. Not as thrilled as the people anyway. Listen, before I started making YouTube videos, I used to travel to witness the world uh, without judgment, try to keep an open mind even when I saw things that shocked me. That hasn't changed with YouTube. Uh, on this channel specifically, Fearless and Far, I continue that travel style by finding things that challenge me, that make me ask questions, and that's exactly what's happening here. I don't think this is right, I don't think this is wrong, I don't exactly know what it is, but I'm here to show what exists on this planet. I'd love to know what you think about it actually. Is this right? Is this wrong? Should it happen? Should it stop? What are the pros and cons and is it a net negative or a net positive? They are helping save snakes in the end and also helping people not to just, you know, just chop their heads up with a shovel. Let me know. We'll talk about it in the comments. It's heavy. <laughs> it's okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. I get Do I hold near the neck? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Okay. Alright. This might be one of the craziest things I've ever done. <laughs> I don't think there's very many places in the world where you can have an experience of holding a black mamba. It's not something that was on my bucket list. <laughs> but it's uh it's a beautiful animal, despite making my heart race quite furiously. These are defanged, by the way. Hey, oh, watch it, man! <laughs> my heart just exploded. <laughs> so, are you scared of snakes? Actually, no, because um, I'm a wildlife personnel. Oh yeah, you're. So a my background actually doesn't allow me to scare the snake, but <laughs> I take. Much precaution though. Of course. Yeah. So actually Gumbo uh, works with Jane Goodall and is also a fixer for a lot of television shows and also an amazing guy. And he's the guy who hooked up Hazabe and a lot of my other Tanzania adventures. So if you're coming here to Tanzania or anywhere in East Africa actually who organizes trips, he'll make your Africa dreams come true. This is Mnimbo and Skoza. It was an incredible thing today. I've got so much respect for these guys and what they do, also the education as well. Not to mention being able to handle and defang these poisonous snakes as well. <laughs> Chase your fears, guys. Stay away from poisonous snakes. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next video on Fearless and Far.